Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can import the time series data into Python and do some basic data analysis as well as plot the time series. So idea is that uh, in previous videos I have shown you how you can do the time series analysis within R and here in this video I will show you how the similar thing that you can do it into the Python so that you get an idea from both the interface about uh, how similar or different they are as well as uh, some basic understanding about how to get started with the data analysis of time series within python so here i am using the python anaconda distribution which gives us the python jupyter notebook where we can uh, you know create the python related scripts so here, as you can see, I'm using the Python Jupyter Notebook and I have opened a new Python um, notebook for time series analysis. I have given the name time series analysis. So I'll just correct it. Analysis. That's how you can give a name or correct it. It's very user friendly and uh, very easy interface to work with. So that's why I like, uh, you know, creating examples and doing the work within the Python Notebook. So let's go ahead and see how you can uh, import the data, do some basic data analysis and plot the time series into the R. So first thing is that we need from Pandas, which is the basic uh, or the base data manipulation library uh, in Python, we need to import the series. So we will press shift enter to execute the command and uh, come create a new cell. If you press control enter, then it will only execute the command, but it will not create a new cell. So you need to remember the difference that you need to press shift enter most of the time once you are working on the code. But if you need to just repeat the command and don't want to create a new cell like this for the new command, you can press control enter. All right. Uh, next thing is getting the data. So I have the data available over here, which is nifty data on the desktop. And if I open the data for you, it is simply the date data along with the daily close uh, levels of Nifty. So Nifty is a stock index here in India where uh, most of the people track it from the perspective of uh, uh, their stock uh, decisions or how whether the market is going up or down. So let's see this Nifty get this data into uh, Python. So first of all, create an object which is nifty by assigning it as a series so series dot from underscore csv and we'll give a path so the path is here i will just take the path paste it here the one thing we need to make a correction is using a forward slash in instead of black slash right and uh, nifty data dot csv once it is done press con shift enter to execute the command one other thing uh, we may need to do is is uh, make the header as zero because we do not want to get that as it is not required into the data analysis so let's press uh, shift enter again it will execute the command and now we have the series if i want to see the some part of the series what i can use is nifty dot head it will show me the first four observations so press shift enter here i have the first four observations and it is saying that the day the series is starting from uh, 17th uh no, september and the level is 4494 and if i want to see the most recent data i can use the tail command so nifty dot tail and press shift enter and here i have the five most recent observations which is saying that on 20th 29th of november the wall the closing the level is 10361 once you are done with that uh, if you want to look at the type of the series that means uh, whether it is really a time series or not as we have imported from here you can use the type command to get its the data type of entire series and press shift enter and uh, we are get we need to provide the nifty not the series series is not an object shift enter pandas.co.series.series so that basically 
you know, give us the idea, okay, this is the series. So if any point in time you have multiple objects, type is basically the function which you can use to get the type of the data. All right. Um, after that, uh, let's say, for example, you want to just get the information about a specific section of a time series. Let's say in 2017, you want to see the entire only the November data. So that means, uh, you know, filtering the data just to see it, not to filter the series. So what I can do is I can just write nifty and within the single quotation surrounded by these brackets, I can write 2017, 11 and press shift enter. And as you can see, it will show me all of the November data. So from November 1 to 29. Similarly, if I want uh, the first, that means the January data, I'll press shift enter and here I have the January data. So that is sometimes really helpful if you want to look at a specific section of the data by uh, just filtering it based on these parameters. After this, if you are interested in looking at the size of the series, what you can do is you can look at nifty.size and press shift enter and it will show you the number of observations, the, no the size of the series, which is this. Um, there is another function which is describe. So I will use nifty.describe function. And this function gives us the various statistics. So if I press shift enter, and uh, it will give us the count of the series, the mean, the standard deviation, the min, and uh, these uh, quartiles information 25%, 50%, uh, 75%, and the maximum value that it has. So all of that information which we generally look or generally want to get a look and feel uh, the sense of the data, how much, what is the distribution and all, we can get using the describe function. After this, uh, the last piece I want to cover is the how you can plot the time series into the Python. So for that, you can use the matplotlib library. And from matplot, matplotlib, we need to import pyplot, p-y-p-l-o-t, yep. And then I'm not executing the command, I'm simply pressing the enter so that I can actually execute the bunch of commands together. So sometimes once you become an expert, it's really not required that you execute just the one command in each line. Uh, generally what happens that you write a block of code uh, based on your requirement and then you entire that block of code and the output will come down um, into the output section. So here I will show you what how we can do that. So what I've done is I've just written I've just written the from mat plot lib you need to import by plot just pressed enter not control enter or shift enter simple enter to come into the next line. After this, what we are doing is, we need to say that uh, pyplot.plot plot and the name of the object, which is nifty. And once it is plotted, then we need to say pyplot.show. These three command will simply go ahead and uh, plot the uh, function or plot the nifty series for us so from matplotlib you need to first import pyplot then need to say pipe hey pyplot go ahead and plot the nifty and then hey pyplot go ahead and show it so if i need to execute this command i will use shift enter because i need to execute the command and i want to create a new cell and if I don't need to create a new cell, I will just uh, press Control Enter to execute this command. So Shift Enter, and here we have the the data or the series plotted over the uh, number of years that we have. So it's a very simple and uh, very uh, uh, straightforward approach within the Python. And as you can see, the commands are very very simple. As you can uh, as you must have observed from my previous videos from the R where we just import the uh, 
TS uh, or the time series library we just went ahead and read the time series and convert it into using the TS function then we looked at uh, its head if, if you are in R uh, what you usually do in this case you will just use the head and say nifty uh, it will show you first five or six observation but if you are uh, interested in seeing more you pro provide the n parameter is equals to 10 but here in this case uh, once you are here here also you can provide a parameter as 10 and it will show you the 10 value so the idea i wanted to give you is uh, how similar or different uh, these uh, python and r is and in my view uh, if you are doing any work in r and uh, if you try to do similar work in python it's very very easy it's just that library names may be different little bit of syntax may be different but having an idea of uh, both the languages about how to execute or how to do the data analysis will give you a good edge. So that is what the objective of that I show you both the, the working of uh, both the environment and uh, so that you can become familiar of uh, both the programming languages. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover uh, as a basic of the time series data analysis into the Python using the Jupyter Notebook and I will meet you in the new video uh, with us with the next part of it where we will go a little bit deep down into uh, data analysis and maybe uh, the algorithm building and we'll see how easy or complex it is uh, to do the similar stuff in the Python. Thank you.